All right, we're at our new project. This is a big one in a very short amount of time. So what I mean by that is the Super Bowl is coming up in three days down here in Phoenix. And this homeowner is renting this place out to some very high-end clients. So they want to get everything looking perfect before. So what we're doing here, all of this, we're redoing all the irrigation and putting in 50 tons of rock throughout this entire front yard. And we're also doing all the lighting. So you got some of the old stuff mapped out here all the way throughout the sidewalk here getting all that dialed in then if you go to the back we are installing quite a bit of artificial turf it's all gonna be turf we're also doing all the irrigation back here as well so Bob has been here the past few days hi guys <laughs> so we're putting turf in all throughout here as well so Brian's over there starting to get it dug out and then we're gonna drop some base in here and get some turf in This here is a day and a half of labor. Beauty. As you guys saw earlier in the video, we were telling you how we get over our our very old edging. So you guys can see, we bared the edge. And look at that. We could drive over it with that heavy machine and it's still beautiful. We learned that at our last job that if you drive over tile or brick with the machine, nothing covering it. What happens, Brad? breaks yeah and it's hard to fix so yeah, yeah learning moment <laughs> <laughs> so at this point we're gonna have to wait we're gonna stump grind this corner we are now trying to expose all of the irrigation through here because in an ideal world we just cap it but we actually have an opportunity to try to cap it like early on in the zone so we can just cut off any chance of water leaking through any of this PVC under our turf because we don't want to pull up turf after we have it laid. You saw the valves in here. Uh, our guy, Steven, that you just saw, he's the head of the maintenance division now. Awesome. We have him out here fixing irrigation. We actually just ran a main water line all the way to our valve box over here because we don't need valves one and two anymore. We don't need these zones. So we just cut them out, ran all the way through, re-ran the wires. If we can get this buried, then there's no box in this turf. It's just who wants a box in their turf? Just want it to be perfectly green. One thing that got added to this project is we're actually adding a driveway. It's gonna come up and then go through those trees and then feed down over by the fire hydrant. So this is gonna be an Airbnb for quite a few guests. As you can see, it's a beautiful house. So they gotta have parking and right now, only parking is that little stretch right there. So, and we got all the bushes out over there. We have to transplant one cactus that's over there still but then we'll be able to scrape all this out and then get this driveway in. Everything around me looks a little great. Ever since you found out, worry about my brain. I just need a time out, probably just a spring. We have to move this cactus. So this is a first for me. I don't know, Bob, is the move going? Ah, uh, transplanted? Yeah. No. Yeah, so uh, this will be a first for both of us. Um, we've heard if you put cardboard around it and move it like that, it should work just fine. So uh, yeah, come along on our journey with us as we move this <laughs> lovely cactus. If you make my toes too curly, yeah. and if you really, really have a need, baby, can't hold that bow, how do you get it so wrong? Baby, sometimes you're cold, and a big problem, though, yeah, yeah.
didn't didn't go too shabby um usually uh, when you're transplanting a cactus the roots are really shallow you might have seen it in the video so you'd like to stake it on both sides until it like takes root a little bit uh we might come back and stake it depending on if it needs it or not but we have so much to get done before the renter moves in um one more tip that cardboard you saw us using if you're moving it with cardboard double layer if you don't double layer these things are going right through it All right, so Brian and myself are working on this bocce ball slash cornhole court that we're putting in. So we got all the edging in down there. We're just getting the first layer packed in. We're not putting turf on top of this. It's just gonna be the same material as this. All right, so through those time lapses, you guys saw us wrap up this entire driveway and we got all the rock in throughout this front area. Um, so right now we're just getting this rip wrap in on this side of the driveway and then this front will be completely finished. All right, so we got all of our turf right in the dump trailer there. We backed it up to this gate so we didn't have to move it as far because moving it, believe it or not, actually isn't that fun. So we're gonna be staging all of this and letting it sit out in the nice warm Arizona sun to kind of get all the wrinkles out, to let it uh, expand, contract. See you guys when we get all this turf laid out. Here we have all of our turf laid out and a rough cut for this entire section. Um, it's good to let it sit in the sun. I know we've said it in previous videos. It's good to let it sit in the sun for about a day or two to let it expand and contract. Um, over on this side, Drew and I have been working away on this section. So we have all the cuts done throughout here. And now I'm working on nail on this side. I've got all this nailed up to here. And then, yeah, we'll just be getting all this nailed, getting all that cut, this whole section nailed, and that section is about halfway nailed. Um, this takes a really long time because we put nails every two inches, and we do them every year, we do two rows of them. So, as you can see here, what's up, Bry? What up? Wanna show them the little black gap we have to make? Yeah. Got the nail right there. Get the nail in. So it lands right on the black. Beautiful. Beautiful execution. One other thing is over the weekend, Brian and Drew came back and they completely finished up the turf. So we've got all the infill sand in, we've got all the nails in, we've got everything cut perfect, and it is looking absolutely amazing. I'll dub over a couple clips of this looking amazing. Can't see any seams, none of that. And yeah, so we're gonna get this rip wrap in on this side to help with the erosion. And then we'll show you guys the final product of this beautiful project. All right, so we got all of the rip wrap in and all the little last minute tedious things all buttoned up. So this project is completely finished. So we got all this rip wrap in on the side here to help with the erosion control. So thanks again for coming along on another video with us and enjoy this lovely montage. Peace.